with y'all. Hope everybody having a good day. If you're new to this channel, my name is Cleveland. So, uh, look, I had a couple people that was mentioning that they wanted to see how I made a DIY little food cart, scrap cart, whatever you want to use it for. Somebody was asking about it, how I do it. Now, like I said, scrap cart means all scrap materials. So let me show you what I'm using to work with today. So you can use anything that you have. You really just need some wood, some two by fours, something like that, one by twos, two by fours, two by sixes, two by eights, whatever. You need some uprights and you need a piece of plywood or something that's gonna be used like a shelf and then you're gonna need another one for the bottom. So this is what I'm using today. I cut up a door a while back, the old door. It was, it was wet. This part of it is completely dry. So I have multiple pieces that I decided to use that I'm going to you can actually see where it was a little beat down from the water, but you see how it's all dry, the core is dry. Plan on reusing it. So, three pieces. I got some wheels that I had on the on my little uh, my rack right there that I plan on using. They came off of a file cabinet. So like I always say, I like to reuse and recycle as much as I possibly can. Why not? So check out, check it out. All right, so we're gonna do this, get my drill. So this will actually be really quick and easy. So if you already have your wood cut and all that stuff, it'd be very easy for you. This is the other one. That's the other scrap cart right there. All scrap wood. Piece of plywood. Some two by sixes, some two by fours. Oh, two by fours, yep, two by fours, one by twos, all that. So, I'm about to secure these wheels. And right now, we're going, we're acclimating our Niger trigger. So, I'm, uh, I'm doing this video in the middle of that. Just so I'm not sitting here bored waiting. So, these right here, wood screws. Three quarter inch, number 10, Lowe's. Lowe's, Home Depot, it really don't matter. Anyway, so that's what I'm using. And I would recommend putting four screws in here, at least, at a minimum. All right. Right, that's four. I might even do five. It's another hole right here. Here's the fifth one. It's not all the way flat because of those. So what I'll do is I'll actually mark that. So you won't have to do this if you have casters water looking like I recommend getting casters for this instead of using like a uh, um, like these kind of wheels right here from like a file cabinet just use casters I don't have casters so it's whatever but what I got to do is I got to make a little uh, imprint right here a little indentation for go for that to sit in so we'll do a little it's a lot of tools that I be having in my fish room maybe some of you uh, want to know what kind of tools I keep what kind of what kind of tools are needed do I think that's needed for a fish room for it 
the typical DIY fish keeper. I could do that. I can make a video on that. Right there. And it just makes it real easy. So now that I made that, let's go ahead and, uh, and get these screws back in. Also, I am going to use my, uh, my self-drilling screws and hit that side too. So I'm going to go through that sheet metal or go through that metal. You got to have self, you got to have self-drilling screws for that. There we go. It wasn't even it wasn't even aligned where it was before. It's all good. It's okay. That one right there did not feel like it was gripping anything. So we're gonna put might have to put a longer screw. Yeah, it's not grabbing nothing. All right, let me grab some grab some bigger screws. All right, right back with you. All right, so now I got some long ones. Look at the screws. So now we are good. Much better. Much better. All right. So like I said, now I want to put some of these uh, self-drilling screws, at least one, right there. So we really just need to go through the metal. We don't need to have a self-drilling for the wood, but we got to get through that metal. And I could use a drill bit, but... That's fast. And did you see how good that worked? Let's go ahead and hit it with another one. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Got to get a fresh one. Kind of dull the head on that. See, you're not supposed to have to work too hard. All right, that's good. One more. Nah, that's good. So on, that's that side. Let's do this side real quick. And then I probably should have... I'm going to take these out. You know why? Cause I should have built it from the top to the bottom. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, it don't matter. Let's just go ahead and get everything where we want it. And then I could easily go back and take this out if I need to, which I probably will. There we go. Got the first one in. Hit it with one more. And again, these are the ones that the self-drilling screws. All right. Now, I hit it with the regular wood screws. The long ones. All 
All right, perfect. That's all I need. Okay, so now let's see what are we working with. It's gonna be a little cleanup, you know? It's whatever. My fish room always has to be cleaned up because I'm always doing something. Oh, snap. I like how it's working. I like how it's working. So now I have these two by, so we're two by, uh, these two by sixes right here. Matter of fact, these are actually two by eights. So I got some two by eights that I plan on using, same height. So all I'm going to do with these, just like that, right? Just like that. As a matter of fact, I'll even, so I don't have to take anything back apart. We're gonna do it just like that. Perfect. So now what that's gonna allow me to do, I'll stand this one up. I'll stand this one up and then I'm going to put this right on top of it upside down. Let's go. Set it just like that. Then I'll set it just like that. You see that? So now I could go right in between my wheels with, let's see, we need a longer one. I just need a good Got to switch out for larger larger hex head so I'm about to use these long screws I want this to be very secure look at that perfect straight through one more if you want to go three, you can, up to you. All right, perfect. Now let's do the other side. So like I said, this is easy. It's when it's a scrap part, you can't really make a mistake. Just, just have fun with it. All right, got that one. One more. Make sure it's one thing y'all want, I will say this though, I will say this. Just make sure that it's big enough for what you need. There we go. I could probably put one more, probably put one more screw. Look at that. So I could go like this. I could go like that with it. Let's see how it feels. Let's see. Back you on up a little bit. All right, so now let's see. It rolled good, do I want it like this? Probably do, probably do want it like that. Or do I want it like that? Maybe like that is even better. Yeah, I think like that is better. Even though that you see it goes in, if I do it like that, I could have brought that over a little bit. Yep. Again, that's why it's a scrap cart. You're not over here trying to, you know, make something that's all beautiful like that. You know, you're trying to make something that's usable for whatever you need it. So, this is gonna work. Just like that. Go ahead and tack the other side. There we go. Yep, I'm good with that. Like I said, have fun with it. All right. 
So I'm doing. This thing is dying. This thing is dying. I certainly have to grab another battery. Told you. Not a problem at all. Stay ready. All right, now, 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 we gonna go up higher. So, I was thinking I was gonna go right here with this one. I don't have it tall. Lastly, all right, so like I said, all right, y'all, so like I said, this is scrap, 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 scrap. So look, this is what I'm about to do. I don't want to cut any wood, not today. All right, so now I got that piece of wood cut because there was absolutely no way of doing this without getting a headache if I would not have cut that wood. It had to be the same size. So now we're gonna take it up one more level. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw it from the bottom and then I'll screw the top one in. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna take the long screws four of the long screws. In fact, I'll go from this end, it don't even matter. All right, just like that. Two more on this side. And then uh, we're going to put the next level up. So this one, I like this one. I already like this one more than the other one. Way more spacious, moves around better, all that. The other one was pretty quick, didn't have the door. And this door really made it possible. Okay, that one don't work, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and drop this one on top. Just like that, much better. I like this one way better. All right. So now, let's go ahead and uh, we need some long screws. So I need four long screws. I got three. I got four. Yeah, I got four. Grab the other head. So this is what it's looking like. I hope thus far, this was helpful for somebody that you were asking. Asking you shall receive. So you can make this thing as fancy or ugly or whatever. 
can do it however you want. Let's go ahead and uh, screw in in on this side. I'll probably make it look a little nice because I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take it down. At least in time soon, I like this one. I like this one a lot, way more than the other one. So, yeah, I'll make it look nice. All right, so that's that's it. That's it, y'all. Check it out. A little ghetto cart. All right. You see? Quick and easy. I see I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 22 screws, y'all. That's it. All scrap pieces of wood. Moves around pretty good. See? Moves around. All right. I definitely still doesn't move around as good as I would like it to. I could always replace the wheels. Like I said, if you have some big, nice casters, this thing is going to move around just the way you want it to. But nonetheless, I'm happier with this one than I was with the last one. It's big. I could use the top to do my feeding, the middle to do my acclimating, and the bottom just shelf shelf uh, for the uh, for the food space for for food so came out pretty good i hope this was helpful like i said uh you can make this thing look as nice as you want to by the time you see it again it will look better than this but just wanted to oblige like i said a couple of you was asking could i make one in a video here it is i hope that was helpful so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Join the channel, join the family. We do a lot of different things over here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna catch you all in the next one. Peace.